Hello, and welcome to La Rosa Reads. I am Denise La Rosa, and I love all things books. Today, I'm going to introduce you to my YouTube channel and take on the BookTube Newbie Challenge. Let's talk books. So why did I start this channel? That is a great question. I mean, all these questions are great questions, but I think this question is particularly helpful for me because I kind of just like to try things and take risk. And so I really have to stop and ask myself, what do I really want from this channel? And so I just am a huge book lover, a book reader. I'm always making book recommendations to my family members and my friends and people are tagging me on posts on social media about books. And I thought to myself, why not start a YouTube channel and be a booktuber? I admire booktubers. I used to have a mom podcast and blog, and it was really a wonderful way for me to enjoy having this hobby that was a great escape from the day to day. And I'm hoping to do the same thing with my booktube channel. So what are some fun and unique things that I can bring to BookTube? Well, first and foremost, I can bring me, myself, and I, right? I think that all BookTubers are super unique in just being who they are, and I'm no different. I am a mother of two daughters, ages seven and nine, and I often joke and say they're going on 17 and 19. Um, I'm a wife to a super hot hubby who is like helping me do this BookTube thing. And I'm also an educator and I am also the director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I think all of those layers of what makes me me is something unique that I can bring to the BookTube community. So what am I most excited about in starting this channel? I think I'm excited to form a community with my fellow book lovers. Reading books and loving books can be a lonely journey because, you know, in some ways I love that it's a lonely thing in the sense that I get to enjoy doing this um, wonderful activity and wonder and go embark on this wonderful journey of reading and exploring different worlds through books all on my own as a means of escape because quite frankly i am in a line of work where i'm around people all the time and there's a part of me i'm an amnivert so i'm super social and at the same time i like to have my alone time but bringing those two parts of me, the introvert and the extrovert together is really important. And so I want to be with my fellow book lovers and book readers. And so that's what I'm most excited about. I'm most excited about connecting with all of you and just learning from you and getting book recommendations from you, chatting about books, communicating about books that we're reading together. I'm just really looking forward to being a part of this community. Why do I love reading? My goodness, there are so many reasons why I love reading and I just think first and foremost, it's a means of escape. I have had different reasons for loving reading over the years, but in this particular part, um, this time in my life, I'm really enjoying reading to escape the day to day. Not that I have a lame life or a life that I'm trying to escape from. I love my life. It's a busy life. It's a fun life. It's a life full of, you know, joys and challenges. But at the same time, I really find joy and pleasure in escaping into other worlds that um, are fictional or realistic fiction, historical fiction. I used to be really into memoirs, but I'm finding myself being into like a lot of fiction work. Um, I just really enjoy that means of escape. And I think as a 40 year old mother, working mom, wife, I just need that time. It's my me time. And I quite frankly tell the girls, this is my me time when I'm grabbing my book and curling up and reading with like a cup, cup of coffee or um, some food or what have you. It's my time. So I think as a 40 year old woman, I need my me time and I need it with books. I love this question. So what book series got me into reading? Well, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I really wasn't a huge reader back whenever I was younger. I read more now in my adult years and um, 
probably since my early 20s is when I became more of an avid book reader than I was whenever I was younger. However, I think that I'm in good company when I say the Babysitter's Club book series was a series that really caught my attention and grabbed my attention and got me reading. I think they were some of the first books that I actually read all the way through. And also the R.L. Stein books, and I'm trying to think, were they called No Fear? don't know but you know what my lovely husband will edit this for me and he'll put up on the screen what that book series was so you know it's one of those things where maybe it's my age maybe it's the fact that it was like 30 some years ago I don't remember however the R.L. Stein book series was one of those that like was supposed to spook you out and I would act really scared but the reality was that the books weren't scary at all um <laughs> So I would end up being a little disappointed that I wasn't as spooked as I thought I was going to be. But they got me reading. What questions would I ask my favorite booktubers? I think in the Booktube Newbie Challenge, a lot of folks have said the same thing. How in the world are you reading so many books? I am reading books like in every single minute of my spare time. And like, I'm not getting through that many books. And so it makes me feel a little like a slacker or like what's wrong with me that I can't read as many books. But as I tell my daughters, comparison is the thief of joy. So I try to shut that out and like block that out of my mind and not try to compare myself to other readers and just relish in the books that I'm reading and just enjoy them without feeling like I have to read an X number amount of books. I just want to read for the sake of reading and loving to read. How about that? You know, what, what, what's happened to us that we're kind of on this race of who can read the most books? Like, just read to read, read to love books. That's what I'm for. What challenges do I think starting a booktube channel will be challenges that I'll have to overcome? I'm gonna tell you guys the time, right? Like, I just think that it's a matter of investing the time and being consistent. I am a self-proclaimed overachiever, and so if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna go all in and do it to the best of my ability and be my best self, and, and so I really want to be a consistent booktuber. I want to, you know, not let it consume me and get caught up, so this is another challenge. I don't want to get caught up in the booktuber world to the point where I'm comparing myself to other booktubers. I'm looking at the number of subscribers or the number of likes that I have and measuring myself um, with that, you know, like using that as a measure of success. I want to continue to do this booktube thing just for the love of books and the love of like filming and getting attention like from my husband and doing this project. I don't know. I just, um, He's gonna really get me for talking about him so much. But anywho, yeah, I think those are my two biggest challenges, like the time slash consistency of it all and trying not to get caught in like the rat race of like comparing myself to other booktubers and looking at likes and, and subscribers. Um, I just wanna entertain and share my joy and love of reading with everybody. <sighs> when did I start reading? It's almost like the question, when did you have your first kiss? Like, you know, it's a little personal. You get all the feels and I don't know, maybe it's just me. So I can't really remember the exact moment of when I started reading. It's really interesting. I do have, I like to think, a very unique way of how I got into reading. I'm a huge a music lover as well as book lover. So I absolutely love music. In another life, I was a singer, songwriter. And so I actually started reading the jackets um, of the albums. Um, now I'm dating myself. Oh my lordy. Yes, I had records. I had 45s. I had even eight tracks floating around my house. So, you know, it is what it is. But anywho, uh, 
yeah, I just started reading the lyrics. I'm a lyricist. So yes, I love the beat of music, like the beats in music. I love, you know, the bass line. I'm listening for the bass line. I'm listening for the horns and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, I love lyrics and I love a good song that has a beautiful story attached to it. So I was reading lyrics and trying to um, follow along. I would follow along. It's kind of like my version of an audiobook. I would follow along. I'd put that record on or that cassette tape in and I would follow along with the song um, and reading the lyrics. So yeah, I think that's how I started reading. And then I remember those books from first grade. One of my favorite ones that I remember is Dear Eat Meat. I just remember that for some reason. But you know, like the little exile, you know, little books that you would take home. The stories were really boring, but I just was really amused and was like digging the fact that I was able to read these books. Where do I read? Oh my goodness. I read anywhere at any time that is like a part of my me time. So I love to read mostly in bed at night. I love to curl up in the bed and my seven and nine year old daughters will like pile in the bed with me and each of us will have our book that we're reading. We'll talk to each other about the books we're reading. We'll read aloud um, and just, you know, share like little excerpts with each other. And sometimes it's a little challenging for me when I'm reading books that, you know, are a little, you know, adultish. But, you know, I try to read little excerpts to the girls and kind of explain what's going on in the story. And so that's my favorite place to read. Um, but I also read on the couch. Um, I might be embarrassing myself, but does anybody else read in the bathroom? I just, I don't know. I, I'm just asking for a friend. What kind of books do I like to read? Well, I have to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to A. Marie. First of all, I just love A. Marie. If you are not familiar with A. Marie, you need to look her up like after you finish watching this video. A. Marie is one of my all time favorite female singers. I absolutely love her as an, as an artist and ended up falling in love with the fact that she loves books, she's a book lover, and she has a wonderful YouTube channel. She has um, a great book club that I'm a member of. I absolutely love her book club. And so to answer my question, I promise you there's a connection. Um, she has really gotten me out of my comfort zone, her book selections for her book club. So originally I used to love memoirs and um, a lot of non-fictional pieces, a lot of, yeah, a lot of nonfiction pieces. I loved a lot of books about um, politics. Oh, yes, like when politics weren't so divisive and like intense. I just love to learn about the behind the scenes of what was going on with those political figures and, and you know, how decisions were made. Yes, I'm a nerd. Um, but through Amory's book club, I've really started to stretch myself to read books that are out of my usual comfort zone. So now I'd have to say historical fiction is my favorite. I love historical fiction. And um, I was quite disturbed that I read a book not too long ago that considered a book about something taking place in 1992 being historical fiction. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but anywho, I love historical fiction. I'm getting into some like thrillers. I'm really like a scaredy cat, but I'm really loving a book with an edge that has like a, a lot of suspense and, and some drama. Um, so yeah, I, I'm kind of there right now with the historical fiction and, and I wouldn't say thrillers, but some books that have lots of twists and turns. Yay, I did it. This is my first video and I just want to say, Thank you so much for joining me for my very first video that was the booktube newbie challenge. Please stick around you guys. Like I don't want to do this by myself. It kind of defeats the purpose. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you know, post some comments. Tell me what you're reading, what you're looking forward to talking about. Um, yeah, you know, all that good stuff. Peace.